Hi, my name is David Farkas from Shaquatics Water Polo, and today we have a follow-up on one of our most successful videos that we've ever posted, Egg Beater and Treading Water, Part 2. We're going to cover a few stretches you can do to help you with your egg beater kick, and we're also going to break down the four steps of the kick standing so that you can practice this outside of the water. For each one of these stretches, I recommend two sets on each leg for 30 seconds. Okay, the first stretch we're gonna do is a simple figure four stretch. You're gonna take your right knee, put it up towards your right hand. If you're really flexible, you can take your foot out, make a 90 degree angle with your leg. I'm not that flexible, so you just bring your foot back to where it's comfortable. We got our leg, the left leg is long, and then we're just gonna puff out our chest and hold this for just a moment. You should feel a nice stretch on the hamstring this feels good and you're just gonna slowly start to come down. Slowly come down and then hold this. You can do a simple quad stretch. We've all done this one. The hurdler right here. Lean back on your elbows until you feel a nice stretch and then just hold it. This one you can have your feet out in front but you're gonna bend your knees a little bit so that you can sandwich your chest all the way on top of your legs. So however much you need to bend your knees, do it. If you need to bend them this much, do it. You can grab onto your feet and then just relax. From then I want you to work on your uh, pointing and your flexing. We're gonna work on our feet. We're gonna point our feet and flex our feet. Point our feet and flex our feet. We don't just wanna move the toes around. We wanna point the whole foot and flex the whole foot and bring it back. For the calf stretch, you're gonna find a wall, one leg forward, one leg back. Get that heel down onto the ground. So wherever you have to put your foot to get your heel onto the ground, put it there. If you're reaching far back and you can't put it on the ground, step your foot forward, get it on the ground, and then lean into the calf stretch until you feel a nice, easy stretch. And then you're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna switch. Now we're gonna do the four steps of our egg beater kick, standing single leg. And this is great because you can do this without a pool and you can do it slowly because you don't have to worry about staying up. So we're gonna go step one, heel to butt. Knee up like you could set a plate on it. So if this is no good, bring it up so you can set something on it. Heel to butt, that's step one. Step two, flex, turn out to the side with your foot. Step three, kick out, still flexed. Step four, point and close. So here's one, heel to butt. Two, flex and turn out. Three, kick out, still flexed. Four, point and close. On step one, bring your heel back to your butt. So some people bring their foot up like this, All right? On step one, we want to bring the heel back. Try to squish the calf into the hamstring and bring that knee up on step one. Step two, one, two. Where people get into trouble is they try to go one and they try to turn way far out to the side. You don't need to. All you're trying to do is get it started two, and three, you're gonna kick out. So the two step is just getting it started. The other thing you wanna watch out for is you don't wanna turn the knee in on two. You wanna leave the knee exactly where it is and turn out from the hip. One, two, knee here. So if you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. And if you're turning way far out, you're doing it wrong. One, two, three, point and close. Learning how to egg beater can be difficult. It can often take time. I can't stress enough, be patient with yourself. Work on these drills. You'll give yourself a high probability for success. For Shaquatics Water Polo, I'm David Farkas. We'll see you next time.